So my name is Felipe Silves Pereira and I am a PhD student at Physics for Medicine Lab and also Iconeos. And my research is focused on freely moving functional ultrasound imaging on rats, both to implement it as a robust technique and also to address spatial exploration behavior in uh, FUS. So one of the great advantages of functional ultrasound is that we are able to acquire functional data with flexible and light transducer probes. This allows us to have brain-wide freely moving uh, functional data from rodents. This is pretty cool for behavioral neuroscience in particular because it is quite difficult to acquire data from uh, images from a moving rat with other imaging techniques. So uh, FUSE can be a really welcomed complement for the usually used electrophysiology techniques in the field. So during this past year, I've been improving the methodological and technological uh, pipeline for freely moving uh, functional ultrasound acquisitions and its applications on spatial navigation. So there's a lot to, to consider from the, the chronic uh, craniotomy surgery to animal behavior to probe placement and attachment to the actual experiments and finally the data analysis and uh, visualization. So my experiments are mainly composed by a rat freely uh, exploring a one meter squared arena and I have uh, spatial information of the rat through a camera uh, hanging on the ceiling. So I can have the animal speed, uh, position, head direction, and other spatial parameters. My first results show correlations between animal speed and a cerebral blood flow activity in the rat's hippocampus and hippocampal formation, regions that uh, literature corroborates that are involved in spatial information encoding. We have also some head direction correlations where I can show that a specific region has increased blood flow when the animal is heading to a specific direction and decreased blood flow otherwise. Yeah, uh, I find really cool how straightforward it is to go from behavior to cerebral blood volume data and I'm sure that in a few years we'll have uh, robust freely moving experiments using FUS.